There tends to be an urge, especially religious people, to assert that across that boundary into the unknown lies the handiwork of God. This shows up a lot. Newton even said it. He had his laws of gravity and motion, and he was explaining the moon, and he was there. He doesn't mention God for any of that. And then he gets to the limits of what his equations can calculate. So I don't, can't quite figure this out. Maybe God steps in and makes it right. That's where he invoked God. And Ptolemy, he formulated the geocentric universe with Earth in the middle. There was still a mystery to him. He looked up and uttered the following words. When I trace at my pleasure the windings to and fro of the heavenly body, I no longer touch Earth with my feet. I stand in the presence of Zeus himself and take my fill of ambrosia. He didn't invoke Zeus to account for the rock that he's standing on or the air he's breathing. It was this point of mystery. This, over time, has been described by philosophers as the god of the gaps. If that's where you're going to put your god in this world, then god is an ever-receding pocket of scientific ignorance.